I know that one of the things I want to amplify is the low voltage output from a Wheatstone bridge. So let's start at Google and say I've got a Wheatstone bridge that I want to amplify. So I need an amplifier for it. And I do a search and I see what comes up. Well, there's amplifier. Okay, this says something about a three op amp instrumentation amplifier. I've got some pictures. There's a Texas Instruments thing there. More thing about amplifiers. What amplifiers to use. And down here, okay, it says similar searches, instrumentation amplifier, instrumentation amplifier. Is, I'm thinking maybe I need an instrumentation amplifier. Instrumentation amplifier. And Wikipedia is going to tell me about an instrumentation amplifier. An instrumentation or instrumentational amplifier is a type of differential amplifier. I'm not sure what that means. But it looks like it takes a differential input and provides you with an output voltage that has some gain. Okay, the output voltage depends on the input voltage difference by something to do with these resistors and the size of that gain resistor. Okay, let's see if I can find a component by an instrumentation amplifier. This recommends DigiKey. I'll go to DigiKey. I know they're a major uh, electronics uh, supplier. And I'm going to search integrated circuits, linear amplifiers, or special linear amplifiers, instrumentation. Uh, OK, there's a whole lot of amplifiers. I want a general purpose instrumentation amplifier. One circuit will be enough. Uh, let's apply those filters and see what we've got. OK, so it's going to be an instrumentation amplifier. I've still got a lot of different possibilities. So let's sort by price. Oh, that wasn't the way I wanted to go. I wanted to start cheap and go expensive. So, well, starting fairly cheap here, but these are all surface mount. Those are to go onto a circuit board. They won't plug into our breadboards. So let's go up here and say, hmm, what is it? Give me choices on mounting type, either surface mount or through hole. It has to be a through hole type mount in order to go into the breadboard. So I'll say that and I'll apply the filters. And so now I've got well, there's an instrumentation amplifier, there's another instrumentation amplifier. They're all in the $2 sort of range. And it's going to maybe be hard to find some of them. So I might wind up getting down here more to the $5 range. Oh, here for $4.73, I can get an INA-125 from Texas Instruments. I saw their name before. Mm, none in stock. What have we got that's in stock? Well, there's an INA-121 in stock. 
or a 128, or a 125. A whole lot in stock at a little over six dollars. So that's the kind of process that allowed me to zero in and say, yeah, this is maybe a place to start. And that's how I picked the INA, INA 125 instrumentation amplifier. I knew I needed to amplify something. I started Googling. I eventually zeroed in on a possibility that I could buy now at a reasonable price. Then I went to the data sheet. Looking at the data sheet told me it was going to work for what I needed to do in this course. So although there are an enormous number of possibilities out there, those possibilities narrow down fairly quickly by just checking a few possibilities of what you could be, uh, could be using.